guys. Um, you know, it's a tough team to play. It's always tough to play a team twice and to be able to come back and uh, after a couple tough losses, respond. And, um, you know, I thought the atmosphere was outstanding. I thought the fans were great. It was a great environment today. So, uh, you know, just happy for the guys. We got built on this game. I think, you know, defensively, we played the full 40 minutes. We still got some things we got to work on offensively. But, you know, that's a good team. That's a good win. What about the boost Troy D'Amico gives you guys when he comes in? I mean, 12 points in six minutes isn't much to sneeze at. <laughs> no, Troy played great. I thought the bench did a great job. You know, I thought JD had a heck of a game. I thought Trent came in and gave us great minutes. Troy probably won his best games in a SIU jersey. So, um, you know, that's been our strength all year is different guys stepping up when we needed to them. And, and those guys did a great job for us today. We were talking after the game Wednesday night about valuing the basketball. And today it turns out you had a 26 to 5 advantage in points off turnovers. Uh, how vital was that? Yeah, I mean, 20 assists, 9 turnovers. You know, if we do that, we're going to be, you know, in a lot of games and, and, you know, have a pretty good result. So if we can continue to share the ball, and obviously the biggest thing we've talked about is take care of the ball, um, you know, and then we've been able to have successful results. So we just got to continue to work on that and get better at it. And two, just you take a lot more shots than you do because you have few or turnovers. So, uh, just how critical is that to be able to take more shots? Yeah, we talk to our guys. Uh, you know, usually a team that has more possessions has a better chance of winning. So if you're able to block out and rebound, if you're able not to turn the ball over, we won the boards today. We had 12 offensive rebounds. You know, we did a lot of really good things in terms of that impacts winning. Coach, what changed defensively from the first half to the second? Didn't seem like X's and O's was much, but yeah. it was a lot better. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I, we, we try to have ball pressure throughout the game and, you know, hopefully that kind of wears on people a little bit and you know I thought our activity was really good throughout the whole game you know we forced them into a lot of turnovers we did a good job rebounding in the second half limiting them to one shot and we continue to take care of the ball so there wasn't anything too big we changed a little bit ball screen coverage wise but just in terms of body blows possession by possession I think you know as the game went on we kind of warmed down a little bit. And what's it been about this group all year that's been they've been able to find ways to respond after losses? Yeah it's just a high character group you know they've won their whole life before they got to SIU and, and you know I, I don't think that leaves you. Um, that's a big part of recruiting. Um, and these guys, you know, love playing here and they love playing in front of this community. So um, they were excited to get back home. Three weeks left in the conference season. You're part of a full away tie for first. Uh, that's something you would have signed up for back in November? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, you know, we got to take it game by game. Um, we got a big uh, challenge ahead of us on Wednesday. And, you know, uh, you know, we got to continue to protect home court. You know, that's the biggest thing when you're at home. You got to make sure you play well and you protect home court. And one more thing about that, you have almost 6,000 in here for a 1 p.m. game on a Sunday after a couple of losses in a row. What do you think that says about the foothold this group is gaining in this community, in this area? Well, I mean, I said it from day one. I mean, that's what's so special about this place. That's the separator for our program compared to a lot of other programs is the community and the fan base and how much support they give us. And, you know, for our guys, we just got to continue to play hard and play together and play for each other. You know, that's what everyone wants to see, and that usually translates to winning basketball. Um, um, so I know our guys are, like I said, excited to be at home um, and excited to have another home game here Wednesday night. Uh, Trey, it just seemed like today you kind of had it going early. Just talk about, was it something different during warm-ups or was it just kind of game flow, you were ready to go off the jump? Yeah, I would just say uh, it's pretty much game flow. Uh, I would say for the most part, I just got most of my baskets off of easy layups and uh, good finds for my teammates. Uh, not too much for me, I just did my job. It seems like some of that came from some really good defense, especially the second half. What kind of changed after halftime for you guys? Yeah, that first half, you know, uh, them coming out without uh, one of their key players, uh, we didn't really know what they were going to go into, what they were going to rely on. And um, after seeing them repeatedly go on that ball screen, um, we knew what they wanted to do, and uh, it made it easier for us to stop that. How good is it to be able to provide the team a boost like you did in the first half? It definitely feels good to be able to contribute, uh, be able to do my job. And like I said before, it's just a good job of my teammates finding me. Uh, pretty much all my baskets were either free throws or open layups. I had one open three. Everything was just an open shot. And uh, I said my teammates did a good job of putting me in position. How much did you need a game like this, not just to win, but to win the way you did going away by 20? Yeah, uh, especially coming off of two losses, you know, seven games left in the year, now six. Uh, we needed this. This was a must win. Uh, I think this will help us move forward and finish out February. How important was the, the points off turnovers? You had 26, they had five. I mean, how big was your defense to be able to provide offense? Yeah, for sure. You know, when we, when we turn them over, we can get out and run, and I think our transition offense is second to none. I think um, when we get out and run, we're really hard.
our team stock, so I think that was definitely a big reason why we won today. What's been about your guys' group this year, all season long, that you find ways to bounce back after a loss? Yeah, I just think we're a tough group. Um, you know, earlier in the season, I think we had two, I know we had two back to back. I don't know if it was three in a row, but uh, we had two or three losses. And I think that was just a really good learning experience for us. Uh, knowing what we have to do and what we can't do, and uh, especially in conference, I think that's helped us a lot. I think we're just a tough, gritty group. Uh, we can bounce back. I couldn't believe it when they put in their zone. You're the zone buster. You get in the middle, you can make decisions, and or go to the hoop. So uh, I guess you were smiling when that occurred. Yeah, it, it was definitely uh, that's that's the point. That's what we try to do when they went into the zone, get the ball in the middle, and uh, make the read out of it. Not really good job of that. You talked about coming off those losses, but also just being able to come back home and do what you did with the Van Terra Center. It was pretty packed. The fans were all excited, just feeding off the net. Yeah, for sure. The fans were great tonight. The fans have been great all season. Um, it's it's incredibly fun to play in front of. Uh, I love them all. Uh, it, it really feels like a home environment, and uh, they, they help us a lot. It feels great. Lance, uh, you're talking about how the uh, after the Wednesday night game, it was kind of a deal of just getting back home and trying to take advantage of opportunities again. Uh, what do you think it would you take advantage of this chance to get back in that tie for first in the league? Uh, well, I think uh, you know our fans gave us a, a huge advantage, you know, with their presence. Um, you know, I think we got uh, you know good stops. Uh, you know, we didn't get those the other night against Bradley. Uh, you know, I think we were really focused uh, on the defensive end, uh, especially in the second half. So I think you know that's what uh, helped us get this win. How big a boost was Troy's performance in the first half? Uh, his boost was huge. Uh, you know, Troy. You know, he just trusts the work. Um, you know, he started off the first half really well. Uh, you know, he was in the right places, right place at the right time. Uh, you know, the, the team was doing a good job of finding him, and you know, he was playing really hard. You know, getting offensive rebounds and doing all the little things. For you personally, I think he had 16 in the second half. So yeah. Just kind of a matter of hitting a shot or two, seeing the ball go in, and getting the confidence going. Yeah, uh, I mean, I was, I was, I felt like I was getting good shots in the, in the first half, and you know, just weren't falling. Uh, you know, Coach Pat told me, you know, just stay confident. Uh, you know, have confidence in your shot, and you know, uh, they'll fall. Uh, and I think my first year in the second half, uh, you know, was good. My first two threes. Troy was talking about there was a little bit of adjustment trying to figure out how they're going to play without Donovan Clay. It yeah. seemed like you guys were able to kind of figure that out over time. Was there anything different that had to be done, or was it just executing the game plan better? Uh, I think it was just executing the game plan well. Um, you know, we practiced uh, as if he was going to play. Um, you know, we just had to adjust on the fly. Uh, you know, they have really good players, you know, that step in for them. Um, and I think, you know, we just executed what Coach Brian Muller said, and, you know, we did what was necessary. Okay, so you talked about this a minute ago, but the yeah. big difference in defense first half to second half, especially for you. I mean, if you had the SWAT, you had a couple of steals. Yeah. What changed? It didn't seem like there was anything like X's and O's. Yeah, uh, you know, I think it's just about playing hard. Uh, you know, just. Uh, being aggressive on the defensive end, uh, you know, like I said, I, I couldn't make anything in the first half, so I wanted to try to impact the game on the defensive end, you know, just do whatever I can for my teammates. What has it been about your group all year that you've been able to respond in a big way after losses? Um, you know, I think that comes with experience, um, you know, just learning and taking, taking the constructive criticism, you know, uh, after a tough, tough loss at Bradley, uh, you know, coach wasn't, uh, you know, on us too much. Um, you know, you know, it happens in basketball. Uh, you know, we let, we let two slip away. Um, we, we we wanted to just come up with a positive mindset, you know, try to get this win here. There was a point in the first half of Missouri State to go six point lead. It seems like you guys kind of shifted your focus a little bit. Was there any, any difference after that, or was it just sticking to what you had? Uh, you know, just sticking to what we had. You know, basketball's a game of runs. Uh, you know, we started off good. Uh, you know, they had a run where they went up. Um, you know, they were switching their defenses, going to different types of zones. Uh, you know, man, uh, you know, we are kind of just adjusting to it. Uh, and I feel like once we got adjusted to it, uh, you know, it was all good for us. When you guys kind of had the run at the end, you're going up, and everybody starts kind of coming out on the bench. There's a moment you hit a layup, everybody's going nuts in the building. You come up, you're high-fiving everybody, yeah. like some of the fans, too. What's that like when you guys have the Ben Terrace Center rocking, and you got a, you got a big uh, I mean, the feeling is indescribable, man. Uh, you know, I slapped uh, the chancellor's hand. Um, you just, just having, you know, this community and everybody behind you uh, when you're winning, you know, it's just an amazing feeling for sure. It's not every day you get to smack five with the chancellor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but, you know, he's always there. He's always in my ear when I'm in that corner. Uh, and, you know, uh, he, uh, he gives me a lot of confidence. And, uh, so, you know, I just want to go out there and show it.